both those previous examples with the curved mirror were when the image was quite a distance away, okay, like well away from this mirror. I'm going to draw one last one, and I'll use the inside part of this curve like this, okay, um, and I'm going to draw that mirror in here. Here's the center of that circle. Here's the principal axis. Okay, this is the center. Here's the focus. What you're starting to see is this looks kind of interesting, and the rule is, is that the focus is half the distance of the radius inward. So um, that's where it ends up happening uh, for this kind of mirror. Um, and you certainly you can try those out if you're drawing them um, in, the, in the worksheets we do. What happens if the image is somewhere closer than the center of the circle? So what if I were to take an image, and let's put it right inside the center. I don't need to make it very big. You'll get the picture. So we still have the same rules. You can put a line in parallel. You just have to find where the tip of the arrow is. We don't have to draw the base and the tip. Once you know where the tip is, the, the base has to come from the central um, the meridian, uh, the principal axis. Sorry, principal axis. So I'm going to draw a line in parallel. Da -da 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 -da. And where does that line end up going? Out through the focus. Okay, that's that one. What if I wanted to draw a line in through the focus? Then it's got to go back parallel to the principal axis. So if I go through the focus, that's the second line I could draw. I haven't drawn that one yet. But a line through the focus has to come out, and let's use my red pen to do that. It's going to come out parallel like that. Now I can see those two cross at, actually, this if I was drawing that correctly, Probably is um, this is a little bit further downwards, just a little. Okay, ends up pretty close to where this is, but let's say it's a little off. Okay, now I'd have to measure it because it's super close. If it's further than this arrow is back, it's actually going to be bigger. So let's describe that image first. Is it reduced or magnified? Well, it's a little bit farther from the image, so it is a little bigger. Um, I can measure it to make sure. That's what I'd have to do. It is a little bigger, so it's magnified. Okay, it is um, inverted or re uh, upright, inverted or upright, it's inverted. Now, does the light actually cross there? Could I put a piece of paper and would that image form? Yes, it's real, okay? Not imaginary like it would be on the other side of the mirror. So those are three different ways you can draw these images um, to make, uh, to find out where the, the image would be for, for these objects, for that kind of mirrors. Thanks.